is 55 TV. I am Christopher Sims, and that's Nick Thompson. And this is Matt Small. How are you doing, Matt? I'm very good, thank you very much. Uh, all cool, just uh, ready to enjoy the rest of the evening here. Got my show going on, the Radiant Ones. And uh, yeah, just looking forward to seeing how people respond and, and uh, enjoy the artwork, man. It's all going to be cool, I'm sure. We've met you before, and we really like your work, but we haven't, I haven't personally seen it in the flesh. And I mean, I'm blown away with what you're doing. I mean, not only is your technique fascinating and stunning, but what is great is the objects you're doing it on. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't just the objects that I saw, it was just the objects I saw first, but when I came into the back here, and the 3D sculptures, yes. they've just taken me. Tell me about the 3D sculptures you've been doing on the portraits. Well, I mean, I mean I'm known for doing my, my work on fountains. I mean, I love to source things from the environment that I come from. You know, I'm, not, I'm a London boy, and I, I, I think it's really important to sort of source what I work on from the environment. And so I'm known for that. I'm known for painting on, on, on these things. But I wanted to push it a bit more, push it, push it forward. And I love sculpture. I love, I love the idea of the city and, 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 and the objects and the things are here, the bolts and indus in, in, industry and craziness. And, and I wanted to bring that into the artwork. I wanted to have these objects that were a little bit more than just paintings. I wanted them to be something that felt more tactile, a bit more of an experience and, and something that you can interact with and that's what I'm really sort of, I'm, I'm kind of amped about the idea that I can, can create something that's kind of like a painting but, but is a little bit more than that, a little bit more of, a, of, a, um, of an interactive kind of scenario going on. Sure, it's, they're absolutely incredible, just getting the, the view straight on, I mean you can yeah. see it's a 3D but as you move around it you get a real sense of the construction yeah, that's and what it's all about. the brutalism of, of, of the mechanics yeah. and as you say the objects that you find. Now coming to objects, has it been always something you've been fascinated with? Is, is collecting or sourcing? Uh, well I mean what, what, I mean I'm a hoarder, I love... I was going to say but I didn't want to say but you've said it yourself. What, what, what it is is that as you walk through, you know, your, 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 where you live, you see these objects, and they've they've kind of been, they've been, dis well, someone's decided that they don't, they no longer have a relevance, and and I've always been fascinated by the idea that something is discarded, something is is no longer valued, something is now deemed obsolete, and you know, so that fridge door, that that oven panel, that 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 car, it suddenly doesn't have. Uh, any value in the eyes of, of someone or society. And I, I love the idea that you can reappropriate and, and give it a new context and, and say, say, you know what, we can, we can kind of, you know, keep a relevance to this, to this particular item. So, I'm, you know, I want to feel like the city continues. And, and I love the idea that, you know, there's, there's where we've got these objects and these things that are discarded, we also have these young people that are similarly feel like they're discarded and, and, and being looked upon as obsolete. So my, my whole role is about marrying the two sort of objects together, or the two concepts together, and, and trying to create like a, a bit more of an emotive connection between, between the whole kind of, you know, the art and, and, and the subject matter, you know? You have to get down and see these physically. They're absolutely stunning piece of work. Do it, 55ers. Um, tell me about the portraits that you work with. I mean, that is really one of your main situations. Yeah. And, yeah. and talk me around this. Well, I mean, what, what's been my sort of primary subject has been the sort of the people that I, I see within my area. There's young people that I sort of encounter. And, and I've always felt very sort of... Um, it's been a very important thing for me to document these young people that I feel like aren't getting represented and aren't getting the the um, the right exposure. That whenever people talk about young people, it's in a negative kind of context. And I'm like, you know, I want to see my my area. I want to see the people in my area shown in the right way. I want to see them as the people that they are, which are they're dynamic. You know, they've got energy. Everyone's got energy. Everyone is radiant. Everyone is beautiful. And and forevermore, we keep seeing the media and and and, and the, these outlets. See, there's a lot of demonization that goes on with our young people. And for me, it's important to depict them in the right way, and to show them in the light that they deserve. So it's about recognition. And so these portraits are, are my kind of like tribute. It's a tribute to these young people, and, and once you paint someone, you, you've given them importance, you've given them stature. That's what portraits has always been about, is providing someone with, with, uh, with stature, with, with uh, relevance, and, and uh, they, they exist. 
And that's what I want to say is that these young people exist and they're worthy of being shown and, and being, being taken notice of. And that's what it's all about. I mean, these portraits are my tribute to, to, you know, to the kids in my area who deserve it, you know. You have two really strong points with the recycling of materials, yes. which it doesn't get done enough, especially by industry, yes. and also the care and love that we should give to our youth who are going to be looking after us and leading the way. I mean, the it's, it's such an important situation, and this is not being thrown enough emphasis on, is it? It's not been, uh, and I think at the moment we have got... An industry has a lot to do with this, with the youth and with um, dereliction. Well, I suppose we're, we're living in a sort of time where it's actually deemed to be almost kind of plausible that you leave a certain se section of society to one side. You know, there's, we have to kind of you know, make do with, with, with cuts and, and such and such. And we, we, we're, we're losing a generation, we're gonna be losing people where, where they're feeling that they're not invested in, where they're feeling like they're no longer valued. And I think that's the, the big sort of worry is that whatever happens, we have to kind of bring everyone up with us. You know, we're, we're, as a society, you have to kind of keep moving forward. And, and um, what can we do when, when it's a top-down society and, and um, you know, you're, you're surplus to requirements? And I, I, I mean, I'm a, I was young once. I did feel like I wasn't always kind of valued. And I think the more, what we need to do is as a collective, we have to make sure that those that aren't being looked after, we are understanding their needs and we are kind of valuing the fact that they've all got their own sort of wishes and ambitions and that. And that's the thing is that when you look at, hopefully when you look at my portraits, you see that there's something going on. That they're not just lifeless husks. And I'm trying to say that everyone's got energy and everyone has got something beautiful going on. It's like, you know, they do shine radiant. And that's the thing is that we all shine radiant. We're all beautiful. It's not about the, the someone's above or below. We're all on the same level. And I'd like to think that when you look at the artwork, that's what you see is just people, individuals with, with lots and lots of wonderful energies that, that is emitting from them. That's what it's all about. Great. Matt, it's really nice to see you. Sure. Come down and see the show. It's at the Hoxton Hotel. The stuff is incredible, and you really need to see it in the flesh material. This is Vid5 TV. We'll see you really soon.